what is going on? It's your girl, Orly C, and it is day 11 on the Vita challenge. And Vita, as always, ah, itch, is vlogging every day in August. And I am vlogging at nights today because I did not want to miss out on the Vita challenge. And I had a long day with my son and my daughter, and so I said, you know what? I'm gonna do the video. It is on my iPhone, so if the quality's not the best, I am sorry, but I wanted to get the challenge out today. So let's just get into it. So today the challenge is question and answer. So I had a bunch of you ask me questions via my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and I have a couple, so I just want to shout out everyone who asked a question, and I wanna thank all of you. Um, Tiara O'Kelly, what are your goals in life? What's the best thing about YouTube so far? My goals in life, so, I am currently in school. I am in cantorial school, yes, with uh, a baby and a toddler. <laughs> so that's been really fun. But um, I would like to have my own pulpit and have um, a wonderful big congregation. My ultimate goal forever ago, before I had kids, I wanted to be on Broadway. Um, in case you don't know, I am a singer. I would sing since I was three, and Broadway has definitely been one of my goals. But I had kids and now my goals have changed and you know with different events goals change so and then your other question was um what's the best thing about youtube so far i really love just connecting with all of you um just the comments you guys leave me it's so sweet like i get excited if i have one five and now i'm getting like 15 30 40 i mean it depends on the video sorry i'm gonna hear that bother me um, <laughs> So it's just, I, I love the comments you guys give and I really do appreciate <clears throat> each and every single one of you. And as always, I just want to throw that in. I am at 301 subscribers. Ah, see the balloon? See the balloon back there? It's a celebrate. That's oh, really for my daughter's birthday, but I'm celebrating. I was like, oh, gotta show that. <laughs> so yay, 300. I'm so excited. And thank you as always, each and every single one of you for helping me attain my goal. Um, so... Uh, the best thing about honestly is just having all of you be so supportive, especially real women of YouTube. You ladies all flipping rock, and I honestly love you. Next is Cassandra or Cassandra Hunt, and if I butcher your name, I'm so sorry. Um, why did you start your YouTube channel? That's a great question. So, um, I used to watch YouTube videos all the time. When I was um, engaged, I watched proposal videos. When I was trying to get pregnant, I would watch, you know, the live home pregnancies. By the way, I have one of those coming. Um, I still have to edit it, because I'm like, I watch it, I'm like, oh my god, it's so, so much fun. But, um, so, I just was like, one day, and if you go to my throwback uh, Vita challenge, which was yesterday, day 10, yes, yesterday was day 10, check it out, I'll post it over here, haha, <laughs> I learned. Over here, there's a little I click it, and that's my Viva Day Chen challenge. And I, um, I honestly just, I love just I, in the vlog, it was my first vlog, and I said, Yeah, I can do this, and we'll see how far I get. And I love that I videotaped that. I love it because now I'm looking back and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I have 301 subscribers. That's amazing in a matter of. Uh, nine months at the end of this month. And Olivia Hubbard, she wrote, um, how long have you been on your weight loss journey? Oh, we have a couple questions, okay. Um, weight loss journey, uh, my whole life. <laughs> oh, um, no, um, after having my daughter, it was a lot harder to lose the weight. I know a lot of us women know exactly what I'm talking about, and I didn't realize how hard it was gonna be. With my son, I only gained 20 pounds. With my daughter, I only gained 18. And I know that does not sound like anything, because, you know, I had extra weight on me. And now, um, honestly, probably six months, seven months, maybe? So what are your pet peeves? Okay. <clears throat> this one goes out to my husband. Probably won't watch this, but if he does. When you leave your laundry on the floor where the basket's literally like mm, two feet in front of you, drives me nuts. Then when he actually gets it in the basket, but it's in one of the kids' basket, it drives me bananas. Cause let's be honest, who likes doing laundry? Yeah, exactly, none of us. Especially when you have, you know, even just you and your husband alone can acquire a lot of laundry. When you have kids or two kids like I do, okay. So those would probably be my puppies and um, when you choose, sometimes you choose and I can hear it, and I heard dysophonia, I think it's called. It's like an actual, like, legit thing. If someone's chewing next to you and you can hear it and it bothers you when you hear them chewing, yeah, I'm like, what? So, 
Um, who, if any, was the last person you cussed out, went off on, and why? This would be my fun question. <laughs> okay, so Olivia asked that. Um, the last person you cussed out. I don't like cuss out anyone. This lighting is horrible, guys. I'm sorry. That's why I do it in the daylight, in the natural. I would probably say my husband. <laughs> because, you know, at the end of the day, we're so tired. I'm exhausted. And the last thing I want to do is have to, like, get up and cook or put the dishes away. Jessica Huffman asked, do you feel like you constantly are thinking about what to film or, oh, that would be cool to record, etc.? Uh, yeah, and I wrote, and I wrote you, girl. Um, honestly, my brain is going berserk. Like, let me show you real fast. This just came in the mail, and I was like, oh, hey, guess what time it is? Oopsie. I went to a really fun event, Social Hour by Jack Jack, and Social Hour SD. And it was in San Diego, and I drove up there, and it was so much fun. And all throughout, I was like vlogging in the car, and I don't vlog in the car, besides be the challenge, which was kind of like opened a door for me, I guess. It's kind of cool, but it's dangerous, so heed the warning and obey all traffic laws and, and rules and regulations. But um, I was like, okay, so when I get there, I need to film the food, and then I'm gonna segue into this, and I'm gonna add some music here, and my brain just goes crazy, so I really do think about that. And how do you stay positive over negativity on your YouTube? Okay, and her channel is Alistair's Travels. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know if I got everyone else's channels. In the comments, please put them below, and then I can add them in the description box. Um, staying positive, you know, I'm not like tooting my own horn or anything. I, y'all don't leave negative comments now. I have not received negative comments and I'm not saying I won't because, you know, you can't please everyone, but I've gotten a thumbs down. I've gotten a couple of thumbs down, but not horrible, you know, but I'm really a positive person. I live in a positive like bubble as I call and, you know, I try to surround myself with positive people. And honestly, you know, my mom told me a long time ago, in one ear and out the other. Or on the page and hopefully deleted the next day. <laughs> Cause you can delete comments by the way. Yeah, thank you more. What's your favorite food? This is from Rani Smith. Favorite food. I love sushi. I love pizza. Yeah, that's good for my diet. Um, I really love cereal. When I was pregnant with my daughter, I could not stop eating cereal. And I cannot stop eating cereal again. No, no, no. Get it out of your head. No, as long as not pregnant again. Jasmine Hawkins asks, what is your favorite fun activity? Hmm, now that I have kids, it's kind of changed. Before, it would be singing. Um, I really love just hanging out with my family. It's all I need. So, okay, I am married. And how did my husband and I meet? It's a funny story. <clears throat> Back in college, I dated my husband's best friend who became the best man at our wedding. Hold on, not a hussy, not anything like that. But um, it was college, so it was kind of like that fling. I mean, it was like a couple months, but I really liked this guy. And funny story, so on Valentine's Day, we had plans. And he's like, uh, I was so excited. My roommate helped me get ready. If you're watching this girl, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so she helped me get ready and I was like, all done. You know, t like, like freaking fake lashes and like, you know, a dress that showed off the assets because I didn't have kids so I had more assets. We picked up my husband, not knowing anything. And he gets in the car and I'm like, what? So mind you girls, you know when you're excited and just the ish hit the fan, the ish hit the fan. And let's just go with this mama had a lot of Kool-Aid that night and a lot of Capri Sun and a lot of Sunny Delight. Okay, you're getting my drift, yeah? Let's just go, I told Adam, who became my husband eventually, I told him I hate you. And fast forward a couple months later, and we were friends, all of us were friends before all this. Fast forward a couple months later, we went to New Year's. He was my New Year's kiss. Two days later, he asked me out on our first date. And we didn't make it to Phantom of the Opera. That was our first date, because he knew I love musicals. Oh, I'm getting all like warm and fuzzy talking about it. Um, and um, we just sat in my apartment and we talked. And we talked. And I'm not saying like talked, we actually talked for five, six hours. And I think the sun went down. It was, ju it was just amazing. And that was that. So that just goes to show you everything happens for a reason. Fate is out there. Things do happen. I hope you guys enjoyed my day 11 Vita challenge. Please subscribe. We're going down here to subscribe. See that picture? Click it. Boom, you're subscribed. I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to watch all of your videos as well. And as always, thank you so much guys. Bye.